Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting lesson. So far we have gone over straight line depreciation and units of output depreciation. Now it's time to take a look at double declining balance. Now at first this one looks very intimidating. There's a lot going on in this one. But once you practice it a few times, and by a few I mean do it at least 10 times because it's definitely going to help you really master what's going on. Once you do it several times you're able to really master it and it's going to seem a lot easier than it did at first glance. So let's start by taking a look at the information provided in this problem. We have a truck that was purchased on January 1st of the first year for $450,000 and this truck has a residual value of $50,000 and an estimated useful life of five years. So now in order to apply this information we need to go down to our double declining formula. So the main formula for double declining balance is double declining rate times book value. And within those, that one formula, we have a few more formulas. So our double declining rate is one divided by the estimated useful life in years times two. And as always, our formula for book value is cost minus accumulated depreciation. I cannot stress enough how important it is to really master and memorize this formula right here. Okay, so let's try the double declining rate first, and then we'll apply that to the book value over here in our calculation. So we need one divided by the estimated useful life in years. So in this case, that would be five. So one divided by five, that will give us 0.2 times two, that'll give us 0.4. Now one thing to keep in mind for these calculations is that they do like it if you uh, do your answer in percentages typically. So you will get a decimal, convert that to a percentage. So in this case, we have 40%. So essentially what this is saying that our double declining rate, 40%, is going to be applied to book value each and every year. So let's try doing this in year one. So we already have our double declining balance rate. Now we need to apply this to book value. Now remember, book value is cost. That is given, 450,000, minus accumulated depreciation. Remember, this is the first year of operations, our first year of owning this truck. So have we really depreciated anything so far? The answer is no. So right now, we have a cost of 450,000 and an accumulated depreciation of zero. So that is our beginning book value in this case. So for our book value for year one in this calculation, we are just going to be putting in the total cost of $450,000. So let's go ahead and let's apply that to our first column. So that means that in year one, we have depreciation of 150,000. Okay, now let's move on to accumulated depreciation. Sometimes this confuses students. Well, accumulated depreciation in this case is now 180,000. And a lot of students get a little confused there because they say, well, we just said it was zero. And you're right, in the beginning it was zero. However, once we did our little calculation over here, when we determined our depreciation, we actually depreciated something. So remember, when you depreciate something, you debit depreciation expense and then you credit accumulated depreciation. So our new balance in accumulated depreciation is no longer zero. We accumulated some depreciations. So that's 180,000. Okay, now let's do the same thing for book values we have done for all of the other methods. Cost minus accumulated depreciation. So we have a book value of 270,000. So honestly, um, my opinion, once you get through the first year, the other years aren't too difficult until we get to the very end. So let's do this again. 40% times our new book value of $270,000. Let's get that to fit in there. So let's go ahead and figure out what our depreciation would be for that first year. There we go, $108,000. Now our accumulated depreciation is $180,000 plus the 108 we just added on to there, $288,000. And our book value is the same as it always is, cost minus accumulated depreciation, $162,000. Okay, keep it going. 40% of $162,000, our new book value. So 
64,800. Let's go ahead and get our new accumulated depreciation. Okay. And as always, our brand new book value, 352. 800. Okay, so we're getting low there. 97,200. Now let's do our next year, year four. 40% double declining rate has not changed. And now let's multiply that by the book value, which is now 97,200. Okay, new accumulated depreciation. Remember, once you start getting a hang of this, try pausing the video and seeing if you can finish everything up. It'll definitely help you in the long run. <clears throat> 150,000 cost, 391680. Okay. Okay, now let's do this last year. 40% times 58320. Okay. Four, one, five, zero, zero, eight. Okay. So here, this is the important part, and this happens very, very frequently with double declining depreciation. As you can see, our book value at the end of year five is now 34,992. And just like we discussed with the units of output lesson, this number cannot go below residual value of 50,000. So we need to actually redo this line. So always remember that rule. If book value is below your residual value, go back and redo that last year. Okay, so the way that we figure out how much depreciation we can do is our book value at the end of the prior year was 58,320. However, we can only depreciate it up to $50,000. So what is the excess amount we can depreciate? That would be 58320 minus $50,000. So that means that we can only depreciate an additional $8,320. So now let's follow this through. 391, 680, plus 38, let me see, 8320. And our final book value, 450,000 minus now 400,000. And we are now in the clear. Our residual value equals our book value. Nice work. So. Keep in mind, whenever you're doing any type of depreciation, the only one where you, were, where you will not run into this problem is straight line. Units of output can run into this, and double declining can run into this. And um, if you're an intermediate, sum of years digits, that's another one that usually will never have this issue because it's a very strict fraction formula. Okay, so now that you have your chart filled out, make sure that you know how to pick out the relevant pieces in order to answer questions. So if I said, what is the depreciation for year two? Depreciation for year two is your depreciation expense, so 108,000. What if I said, what is the accumulated depreciation at the end of year three? That would be right here, 352,800. Or if I said, what's the book value at the end of year one? 270,000. So always know how to interpret your chart, understand what you're doing rather than just going through the motions. Okay, now that you've mastered all three different methods, our next video is going to be about selling or disposing an asset. So I hope you join us again. Please make sure to subscribe and in the meantime, happy studying.